Inside Moorhead State Basketball is brought to you by Fazoli's Fast Fresh Italian, U.S. Bank, all of us serving you, Eagle Chevrolet of Moorhead, St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home, Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place, Toyota Motor Manufacturing Kentucky, Moorhead Tourism Commission, escape the normal, Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. Dr. Jeff Bailey, Family Dentistry and Orthodontics. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Eagle Finance, loans made easy, payments made affordable. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Total Care Pharmacy, dispensing care one patient at a time. Reno's Roadhouse. Go wild, go west, go Reno's. Commonwealth Chiropractic. Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home of the Moorhead State Eagles. West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hills since 1963. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Wendy's of Moorhead, fresh, never frozen. Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide. And by Standard for Builders Paving in West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices, that's how we roll. Hi everyone and welcome in to this edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball from the Academic Athletic Center on the campus of Moorhead State University. As always, alongside the Eaglehead basketball coach, Preston Spradlin, I'm David Patrick and Preston, not the overall record that we had hoped for this season, but a lot of good things happened. You won some big games, you qualified for the OVC tournament. Not all teams do that. Outstanding play from your young players, especially your freshmen. So a lot to look forward to. A lot to look forward to, and uh, you know I thought uh, a lot of positives this year. Where uh, one thing is really taking care of business here at home, sure. having a great home record and protecting our home court is something that's really important. And so, uh, to me, when you do have a season like we did, where we felt like we did underachieve a good bit with our overall record, the fact that we were very successful here at home to me is a very is a positive thing because it shows that there's a great investment from our kids. They really have a, a, an understanding of what it means to play for a, a community and for a university that cares about it. And it's a great testament to our fans, the students and the community that came out and made this a tough environment to come and play for our opponents each and every night. Uh, you mentioned the young guys, um, lots of young play, or lots of really good play from our young guys, especially down the stretch. Just watching those guys get better throughout the year was really a lot of fun. And I tell everybody, I put a lot of stock in the rate at which players get better. And you're talking about Tajon Claude, who was inserted into the starting lineup once we began conference play. Um, he was freshman of the week one time this year and uh, was ended up being our second leading scorer in conference and really just became dominant in a lot of games and we got to see just how good he's going to be especially once he puts on that strength and then you add the experience that he got this year his, his ceiling was very high and then Talon Cooper much of the same with him battled the injury there for a stretch for one week where he didn't get to play came back, started a couple games for us, did a lot of really nice things, and just gave us a different element from that point guard spot and this great versatility that he can play all three guard spots. And so those two guys, most specifically, I'm, I'm very encouraged by, and those are certainly some positives that we take away from the season. Stay with us when we come back. Highlights from the Eagles' first round game at the OBC tournament versus Tennessee State. That's next on Inside Morehead State Basketball. Eagle Finance, our motto is simple, loans made easy, payments made affordable. We specialize in personal loans from $1,000 to $10,000.
Do you need a loan for auto repair, vacations, or other expenses? How about consolidating debt or paying off medical or dental bills? Eagle Finance is here to help. Stop by and see branch manager Bill McGee and his staff at Eagle Finance or visit us online at eagle.com. Dr. Jeff Bailey's Family Dentistry has been providing quality dental care for more than 25 years. We specialize in orthodontics, implants, and cosmetic dentistry. Flexible scheduling and financing are available. Dr. Bailey is a member of the American Orthodontic Society and the Christian Medical Dental Association. Dr. Jeff Bailey's Family Dentistry, 629 Main Street in West Liberty. Hi, I'm Paul Cleaver with Eagle Chevrolet Buick GMC in Moorhead. We have partnered with Moorhead State University Athletics to support all facets of MSU sports programs. We are part of MSU because MSU is a big part of Moorhead. Eagle Chevrolet right next to Moorhead State University. Stay tuned for some exciting events as part of our continued support for MSU Athletics. Go Eagles! At Total Care Pharmacy, they do so much more than just fill your prescriptions. They have a nice selection of gifts and apparel with free gift wrapping and free delivery within Moorhead City limits. Plus, you can save money and earn rewards through their loyalty program. Total Care Pharmacy cares about the community. That's why they offer vaccinations, a diabetes education program, and a wide selection of diabetic shoes. Stop in and see the fine folks at Total Care Pharmacy, 206 West Main Street in Moorhead. This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by U.S. Bank. All of us serving you. Preston OVC Tournament in Evansville. You come in as the eighth seed and taking on Tennessee State in round one. You know, and, and what a great round one it was. I think we were able to kick off the OVC tournament with a, with a great, exciting game. Obviously getting the game started off right there with an exciting play uh, from Tajon. Great pass there from Jimon. And, uh, you know, Jimon with, with three assists in this game was really big for him. But, um, you know, I thought we came out and we really executed our game plan early, just like we did when we played them you know, two weeks prior at our place of just attacking inside, posting the ball, driving the ball, as you're, as you're seeing there, multiple paint touches, uh, getting it into our big guys for finishes. And there goes Jordan for, for a tough shot right there. One of, and that was, his, uh, that was his only made field goal of the, of the game, unfortunately. But uh, here we are getting the ball going. Malik Riddle had a very good game for us. Uh, in, in 14 minutes going two of five from the field with five points and uh, did a nice job and so right here you're, you're seeing him he got going there and just, just we're playing small ball at that point we've got him at the four and pick and pop hitting a good three and juice getting one of his assists to find him and get him involved and James Baker uh, kind of continued his, his good play for us he had a few turnovers in this game that, that we were trying to go and establish him early and that was one of the baskets that he was able to get once he kind of settled in and I thought this guy played a terrific game for us and LJ you know you're talking 12 minutes he had eight points and uh, and seven seven rebounds for us and, and really just got on that offensive glass as you're seeing right there with with two offensive rebounds and so played really really well for us and I uh, was really excited for him and there's you're seeing the other offensive rebound and stick back and that's just a good miss by Juice right there getting in there not getting it blocked and missing it short so that we've got an opportunity to get that one and so uh, played a good amount of zone to get ourselves back into the game. I think this was one of the few uh, baskets we gave up in our zone, so I was encouraged that our guys had, uh, you know, we're not a big time zone team, but sometimes you got to make some adjustments and you got to do some things to, to do whatever you got to do to put yourself in a position to win a game. And, um, you know, you got to give Tennessee State credit. You know, they're a very long, athletic, talented team, and they really battled. And so, um, at one point in this game really challenged Talon that we wanted him to really step up on both ends of the floor and then he, he really responded especially on the offensive end with 18 points, five rebounds and an assist and three steals for us and so just did it just did a great job and so uh, but it was, this was a great game David I mean you're talking uh, the game got going down the stretch we find ourselves down nine with four minutes to go uh, coming up here in just a little bit but uh, this was this is a great back and forth between two really good teams that just did not want their season to end and so 
you know, we got on this offensive glass really hard to make a run late. You just saw that in that possession with James knocking in that three for us. Uh, 18 offensive rebounds anytime you go and you get on the glass that many times and you get that many second chance shots, you're going to give yourself a chance to win. And so Talon there playing off that shot fake, getting to the mid range that we've seen him do so much. Again, you know, because he does shoot the ball so well from the perimeter, the best move that he can do is just stepping into a shot and then getting a good uh, shot fake going to get his defender and get him, get an angle to get in there and score it. And so uh, Wesley Harris here, West Virginia get grad transfer for uh, Tennessee State, hit a big one there down the stretch, kind of a standstill three, stare down three rather. And uh, this one, uh, that one, that one was a big one there by their freshman point guard, Mark Freeman. And again, just a, a back and forth battle right here between our two teams and kind of an odd play here. Uh, Mark Freeman kind of just falls down to lines, the beneficiary of it, turns it into points. I think it was a five point game at that point and then turned it into a three point game. And uh, just really good execution right here. Uh, got Jimon an open look, terrific pass from uh, from, from Talon uh, off that fade screen to get him a look. You see the, the band-aid there for Jimon on his eye. That was uh, He missed a good part, part of the game with uh, with a hard blow to the head and ended up getting five stitches there. And so, again, we talked about the, the, just the effort, the offensive rebound, the 50-50 balls coming up with an extra one there. And James getting to that sweet spot there at the foul line that we've seen him shoot so well at that mid-range this year. And the uh, game came down to, to pretty much you know, the last possession, again, we found ourselves down four, or down nine, rather, with four minutes to go. Then we were up two with four seconds to go. Got called for an out-of-bounds play, and then uh, saw Carlos Marshall make the really tough two there to tie the game up and, and send it into overtime. And so this young man came off the bench for them, Ravel Moody, and had a big night, kind of snuck onto the scouting report with us with career-high 14 points. Uh, but again, you just saw our guys there, just effort and battle that we've seen all year long, David, and I wouldn't expect anything less, especially being down in Evansville with the conference tournament on the line and uh, Jimon just getting on that offensive glass. And uh, here's kind of the last last shot of the game for us as, uh, as we end in overtime. And so just thought our guys really battled and, and played extremely hard to erase that nine point deficit and uh, did a lot of good things with, with people stepping up down the stretch. and then. Once the game kind of went into overtime, David, I felt like the momentum really shifted to, uh, to Tennessee State, and we just weren't able to recapture that. And uh, you see my boy there, he, uh, he likes to sit on the bench and be with his brothers during the conference tournament. And so he had a good time, good experience of uh, helping drive that energy bus, yes, as we call right. it, over there on the bench there in Evansville. Stay with us when we come back. An exclusive interview with the voice of the Eagles, Chuck Mirage. You'll enjoy this. That's next on Inside Morehead State Basketball. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware is celebrating more than 40 years as a locally owned and operated family business in Moorhead. We would like to thank our valued customers for your loyalty and trust and pledge to continue supplying the best quality service by our hometown employees. Big Four Lumber is a staple of the Moorhead Round County community. We take great pride in giving back and invite you to join us for our many customer appreciation events throughout the year. That's Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, 1470 Flemingsburg Road in Moorhead. At the Citizens Bank, we have totally free checking and a free gift. When you combine totally free checking with the best people and the best service, do you know what you get? The best bank. Being the best bank makes it easy for our customers to refer their friends and family to bank with the best too. Every referral gets another free gift. So come bank with the best, the Citizens Bank, home of totally free checking and a free gift. Member FDIC. I'm Josh Teeter, PGA Tour professional and proud Moorhead State Eagle, inviting you to bring your game to Eagle Trace Golf Course. Nestled in the beautiful Daniel Boone National Forest in Moorhead, Eagle Trace is a unique and challenging venue offering year-round play and is open to the public. We have a large practice range, a clubhouse with a fully merchandised pro shop, a covered pavilion perfect for your great outings, and our newest addition, the Dr. Rex Cheney MSU Golf Facility. We look forward to seeing you here at Eagle Trace or visit us online at eagletracegolfcourse.com. Pain is your body's way of telling you that something's wrong. Stress from a car accident, work injuries, aggravation, or even unknown aches can manifest and become worse months or years down the road. 
take the initiative and take care of your body. Dr. Chris Skinner at Commonwealth Chiropractic in Moorhead has a locally owned practice that pledges to treat everyone like family. And he's the official chiropractor for Moorhead State Athletics. Located off the US 60 bypass, just west of City Park next to iStyle Salon, call today, 783-0233. I came out of the scope and they told me that I had colon cancer. Thanks to Dr. Perry and the surgical team here at St. Clair, I only had to take a month out of residency. I was able to jump right back into my rotations. I recovered incredibly quickly. I graduated residency on time, and now I'm an employee of St. Clair. Um, I've signed on, and I'm working at one of their outlying clinics in my hometown, and life is pretty good right now. This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by Fazoli's. Fast, fresh, Italian. Hi everyone and welcome back to Inside Moorhead State Basketball. And I'm joined now by a good friend of mine for a very long time. And I know a good friend of yours too, the voice of the Eagles for now 30 seasons behind the microphone. And that would be the one and only Chuck Moraz. Well, that's because no one else wants the job. <laughs> <laughs> Talking yeah. about being Chuck Moraz, not the play-by-play -play job. <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to say anything, but you know, you open it up. Chuck, as I said, a good friend for a long time. We first met back in the uh, late 1980s when you first arrived on campus. I was working at WMKY. You walked in the door and my life changed and your di yours did too. Yeah, it was never the same and I've never forgiven you either. <laughs> <laughs> I know you remind me all the time. <laughs> Chuck, 30 years behind the microphone, and, and, and I've said this many times, and it, it's not just because we're friends, but I mean this, and you know I mean this, you're, you're one of the best in the business. What's kept you here for 30 years? Well, one thing, and I've thought about this before, and people have asked me this question, David, a number of times while I've stayed at Moorhead State so long. Uh, you know, I always had the goal of doing collegiate athletics, and I wanted to find a place that I would enjoy working, that I felt like that needed me, and I felt like I fit in. The other thing was my family. Uh, when I was a youngster, unfortunately, uh, I moved about 11 times before I was 14 years old. And I had two young girls when I first came here. And what I wanted to do is make sure they had some stability in their life. That you didn't have. That I didn't have. Right. And they could always say that they could call one place their home and they would grow up and have lifelong friends. Right. So that was a key part of that. And as I grew into this job, sure, I looked at other jobs, but it kept coming back to it just didn't feel quite right. And this is where I wanted to be. Mounts inside the left hash. Walker coming baseline left on the drive to the hole. Puts it up high off the glass and down it goes. Good count at least five. How blessed do you feel to be able to do this for three decades? Well, very blessed because uh, when I was in college, I just my goal was to be able to do this. Play-by-play uh, -play was it for me. And there are a lot of people that want to do this, and a lot of people have not been able to do this. It's not because maybe they're not talented enough or qualified enough. They just didn't get the opportunities that I did. So I know I'm very blessed. And the good Lord has looked out for me all the way through my career. Talk about some of the, the people that have touched your life here at Moorhead State over the years. And I don't want to leave anybody out or have you to necessarily put them in order, but some of the folks that have made the biggest impact on you. Well, you know, Larry Netherton, who is the right. general manager at WMKY when I first started there as the sports director, uh, you know, his passion for broadcasting and the station and this town and this region uh, made a real impact on me right off the bat and he felt about local sports like I did. Yes. Uh, we argued at times about maybe the best way to do it but at the same time I appreciated his passion. A mutual respect. Right, exactly, uh, exactly. He knew I was passionate, I knew he was passionate so when we were arguing it was from the standpoint of not about how hard I was going to work <laughs> or anything but which direction I might take right, with a certain assignment. Right. So he really made the biggest impact probably out of everybody. Uh, Steve Hamilton who was a great athletic director here. I loved working with Wayne Martin, the first coach I worked with when I came to Moorhead State because I started with the 1986-87 basketball season. Donnie Tyndall has been a good friend of mine since he was a player and when he was a coach. Loved working with Donnie. Uh, you know, all the coaches, Matt Ballard, Rob Tenney, year. Of course now Preston Spradlin. Going back they all had an impact on me in one way or another and I've appreciated all of their help and their support over the years because without them and supporting me I couldn't have done what I've done. Chuck on behalf of Eagle Nation thank you. Oh thank you. For everything you've done over the years. All the folks that have depended on you obviously especially for road games to, uh, to be their eyes 
and uh, you have you done it well. Well, and I appreciate them too for their support. I mean, they've been around and I've heard their comments. Sure. Most of them have been good, <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate that. But it's nice to get the feedback from those folks, and it's nice when they come up and say something good about what you've done because they don't have to do that. Sure. So, folks, when you do give me a compliment, believe me, it means a lot to my heart. Chuck Mraz, one of the best in the business for 30 years here at Moorhead State University. Stay with us. Much more inside Moorhead State basketball is still to come. At First National Bank, we believe in banking made easy. Whether it's a checking or savings account or a loan for a home or auto, First National Bank is the place for you. First National Bank is proud to be part of this community and a sponsor of this show. Good luck to Coach Bradlin and his staff on their season. Banking at First National is the easy as one, two, three. Let us assist you with all your banking needs. First National Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Hi, I'm Gary Markham, proud Moorhead State alum and managing partner of Tim Shore Auto Group. I'd like to welcome you to our state-of-the-art facility on Kentucky 801, just off I-64. We offer new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Ford makes, along with a wide selection of quality pre-owned vehicles. We now invite you to take the short drive to Satisfaction in Moorhead or our two newest locations, Maysville and Lexington. We are Tim Short Auto Group. These days, banking, like basketball, moves at a fast pace. At Commercial Bank, that same fast pace comes to life with our lenders. We're fast with local loan decisions. Bankers who you know and who know you. Simply put, it's better banking. Commercial Bank, where friendliness prevails. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Go Reno! There's no better way to spend the day than with lunch or dinner at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Enjoy delicious steak, chicken and ribs, along with our trademark honey butter rolls and hometown hospitality. Hi, I'm Tim Kogan. I promise to provide 100% guest satisfaction here at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Go wild! Go S! Go Reno's! Woo! Would you like to witness one of Kentucky's best teams in action? Toyota's Kentucky Manufacturing Team offers free tours in Georgetown. Go behind the scenes and see the world of advanced manufacturing at Toyota's largest manufacturing plant in the world. Some of the best vehicles on the road, made right here in Kentucky, including the Toyota Camry, the number one selling sedan for 18 years. Schedule your tour today at tourtoyota.com. Hello, I'm Dr. David Fugit. I'm with West Liberty Veterinary Clinic. For more than 50 years, this clinic, founded by the late Dr. Bill Holbrook, has served our friends and neighbors throughout Eastern Kentucky by caring for the animals they love. We want to encourage everyone to spay and neuter your dogs and cats. There's far too many animals that are left homeless, abused, or neglected. This could be prevented by being responsible pet owners. Again, please spay and neuter your animals. Hey, I'm Dr. Ralph Adams. We love what we do and we count it a blessing to be part of this community, the West Liberty Vet Clinic. Welcome back to Inside Moorhead State Basketball. The regular season is now in the books, uh, but we have one more show left next week. And it's going to be a great show because we're going to look ahead to the future of Eagle basketball. And Preston, I'm excited. Uh, I think your best days are ahead. Yeah, no, we're, we're extremely excited as well. And we'll get into more detail next week as we kind of go through the ins and outs of, of the roster. Uh, obviously, the returning guys right. that our fans got a chance to see this year, the players who were sitting out for us due to transfer injury that we're going to have back next year, we're excited about. Those have me extremely excited. Yeah, we're, we're excited too because, uh, you know, obviously you got a chance to coach those guys and see what you got each and every day compared to what you had this year and uh, just gives you a lot of optimism for the future and we'll kind of share some of our plans for some of our guys how we'd like to see their games mm -hmm. progress their bodies progress and do some changing and things like that and then we're excited about our incoming freshmen who aren't with us right now and we'll talk a little bit more about how those guys how they're going to fit in and how they're going to impact our program but you're exactly right a lot of optimism going forward with the guys that we've got in and again the guys we've got coming back we're going to be uh, we're going to be pretty big next year we're going to have a lot of size <laughs> across the board 
guard spots and forwards and uh, exciting stuff going forward. A 6-4 point guard is nice. Yeah, that, that helps. That yes. helps a lot to Lon, as you, yes. as you mentioned. We talked about him earlier in the show. Uh, just uh, the rate at which he's gotten better has been a lot of fun. His feel for the game, his ability to shoot the ball and impact the game, not only with his shooting, but uh, just his IQ and his ability to make other guys better is uh, certainly exciting. And it's exciting for the rest of my guys who love playing with him. Your message to Eagle fans. Uh, you mentioned earlier in the show about the faithful support that you've had this year and faithful support at the OVC tournament. Your message to Eagle fans as coach. You know, uh, my message would be that, um, you know, we're going to continue to work here and we're going to do things the right way. Um, that, that there's, we're not going to cut any corners. You know, we're, uh, my staff and myself, we put in a lot of time. We're very diligent. We don't take any day for granted that we have the opportunity to, to represent this university on a national stage with our, with our basketball program here. We don't take any, any moment for granted that we get with these student athletes to impact them on the court, in the classroom, and, uh, and then in their, their maturity as we want to see them grow up and be great men and, and father and husbands. And so uh, I'm proud that we're making great progress in those areas. We're seeing kids graduate, we're seeing them get better, and that we're seeing them be uh, you know, representatives of our, our basketball program in the right way and great members of their community while they're here. And so uh, I'm always thankful for our fans. I think that's one thing that separates us year in and year out. We have great fan base. We have a lot of loyalty of people uh, who really love and care about this basketball program. We're very thankful to continue to be here and, uh, and lead this program. And again, my message would be that uh, just come out and, and support these guys, give them everything you've got because they're gonna do that for you in return. And we're gonna continue to do things the right way and represent this university in, in a first class manner. Thank you so much for watching. And on behalf of the Eagle basketball coach, I'm David Patrick, and we will see, see you next week for the final show of the 2019 and 20 season right here on the CW Lexington. It's inside Moorhead State Basketball. Inside Moorhead State Basketball was brought to you by Fazoli's Fast Fresh Italian. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. Eagle Chevrolet of Moorhead. St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. Toyota Motor Manufacturing, Kentucky. Moorhead Tourism Commission, escape the normal. Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. Dr. Jeff Bailey, family dentistry and orthodontics. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Eagle Finance, loans made easy, payments made affordable. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Total Care Pharmacy, dispensing care one patient at a time. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Commonwealth Chiropractic, Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home of the Moorhead State Eagles. West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hills since 1963. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Wendy's of Moorhead, fresh, never frozen. Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide. And by Standard for Builders Paving in West Liberty, quality work at affordable prices, that's how we roll.